Okay, good morning everyone. This is going to be a simple, fast video to show our customers how to set up the game ROMs for the main three-sided solution. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we're going to make some assumptions. We're going to assume that you already have your USB keyboard plugged in and you booted up your machine with the keyboard plugged in so that the computer recognizes the keyboard. We're going to assume that you have your main 32 version 3 preloaded and your game ROMs are already preloaded. If you need help with any of these things, please refer to the other videos that are on the website www.mukade.com. Okay, so the game we're going to be setting up right now is Pac-Man. We're going to be setting it up in a head-to-head -head style. First thing I'm going to do is uh, my main 32 software is up on the screen. I'm going to find the title Pac-Man in the list. I'm going to first go to the display tab after I've highlighted the game title. That's the second tab in that window. I'm going to change the rotation in this particular model. The uh, one player is on the right hand side of the cabinet so we're going to change the rotation to right. This will be where the first player will start from. We're going to make sure that the draw only changes option is off and then we're going to go back to the games tab. Back in the games tab we're going to double click on the title to open it up. We're going to hit enter after we see the CPU information and resolution information. And while the game is in the process of booting up, we're going to hit tab one time on the keyboard. That's going to bring us up to the game menu. Now each individual ROM will have its own separate game menu. And these settings are specific to just this one title. In this list, we're going to go first to the dip switch setup. Now I'm going to hit enter on my game unit here. You should have gotten a layout with your game unit that tells you what keys the buttons correspond to on the keyboard. In this particular case, we're going to use the enter button that is on the player 3 portion of the game unit. I'm going to go into that menu and you see you got some options here. What we want to make sure is that the second option in this list, cocktail, can be tabbed to either upright or cocktail. Two options there. We want to make sure because this is a cocktail unit that we have that set to cocktail. I'm going to go down and return to main menu. Then we're going to go to the keyboard setup. Inside the keyboard setup we can set up the one and two player, not only sticks but the action buttons. So here we want player one to be this side of the cabinet, we want player two to be on this side of the cabinet. So what we're going to do is we're going to change, make sure that player one is here, player two is here. So what we do is we can toggle down through this menu using the arrow keys on the keyboard. The function is up left, right, or down. Now those are the movements of the stick. Now if we want to clear that, we just hit enter. You see that blanks that out there. And then we can say, okay, where do I want to be up? We just hit the stick that we want to use in the up position. And you can go down the list and do that same thing. I'm going to clear this by hitting enter. And I'm going to say, which one do I want to be left? This I want to be left. I'm going to go to the next option in the list, clear it by hitting enter. I want this to be right. And so forth, down the line. Now for player two, we don't want player two here, we want player two here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to clear two up, clear that out, two up is over here, and so forth. Now these are already set up, so this is the way that it should be once this is complete. We return to main menu, go down the list and return to game. Let the boot up process finish. And now in theory, if we were to add coins and hit two players, the game should flip-flop. Tom, you want to step in and play? <laughs> cool. Tom's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> he needs practice. But you can see what you get from that. Player two is on this side. Player one is on the right side. And that's just like the classic style cocktail that we all used to play at the pizza parlor back in the 80s. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped. Got any questions? Drop me an email. Thank you.